Our focus is really trying to predict how things work. We call it simulation, but at the heart of it, we try to predict physics and tell people how something's gonna respond to the real world when it's designed and really focus on the accuracy of the solutions, but also the speed of the simulation. Recently, we were able to uh, work with NVIDIA and the University of Texas using their supercomputer. There was a simulation on an automobile that took around a month using around 2,000 CPU cores. We were able to get 320 of the Grace Hopper 200s, recent technology from NVIDIA. We were able to do that in six hours. I mean, you talk about a month of engineering design down to six hours. When you start looking at the numerics from Fluent tied into the latest breakthroughs in hardware and what we can accomplish together, it really is an amazing story. And just goes to show you the impact that the technology we're having with regards to not just the numerics, but also the acceleration from hardware. But it wasn't just the time savings that was a benefit. If we look at the savings from an energy perspective, we saved around 17 kilowatt hours, which again, will help us innovate much faster as well. We've been working with NVIDIA for many years, and specifically an autonomous robot using radar in a warehouse. In real time, we can predict how the radar is gonna respond in an autonomous environment. We'll take the real world sensor data, and we actually combine that with the synthetic data that our physics simulation's creating to then create what we'd call a hybrid model. That's both the real world test data along with the synthetic data to create an even more accurate AI model. As we look at NVIDIA Omniverse, we see this as a technology that really pulls a lot of visualization capabilities together across many of our products. As we think about autonomous driving, we provide sensor technologies. We're gonna predict how those sensors work. We've all heard the stories of how many millions of miles, for instance, that it would take. And so one of the ways to do this is with synthetic data and making sure that those are accurate predictions. And we can bring that all together with the ANSYS software stack tied into Omniverse so that the end user can basically understand, are they creating a safe system in that automobile? As I look into the future, you know, I see a really bright, partnership between ANSYS and NVIDIA. What the two companies are doing together is really helping engineers and scientists innovate. And that innovation is going to bring real positive change to the world.